Hi, welcome to the Train Shop Weekly. Weekly. Hey, weekly. Weekly. Yeah, we'll actually got a weekend. Well, we'll, 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 we'll see. We'll, we'll see how long it takes Bill to edit this one. <laughs> Let's see how many weeks in a row we can do this for. I'm Bill Henning. I'm Harry Henning. I'm Walt Herbine. So thanks for joining us. Uh, if you enjoy the show, hit like. Uh, hit subscribe. Um, if you don't like the show, just hit subscribe and hit a like anyway. Tell a friend. Um, but we're here. We don't necessarily have a whole lot, but we're... No, we're, we're here, we're having fun, and we're enjoying. We hope you enjoy our insanity, but, you know. By the way, here, Bill, there's Ricardo. <laughs> Ricardo. <laughs> this is Ricardo. He's from the New Jersey Transit. I don't know if you've seen the new... When was that? That was a couple months ago. Yeah, that was back in uh, January or February. Yeah, he had Texas Longhorn Bull kind of got loose. Nobody and, knows where he was from. And then... Uh, I saw video. There are video clips all over uh, social media. Over this I, I missed it. But, um, yeah, the, uh, oh yeah, it was pretty cool. Newark uh, Penn Station in Jersey. People are just standing there waiting for the train, and here comes this bull running down the tracks. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah I remember. Well, anyway, what they did was they sold these to cover costs. Well, yeah, a portion of the proceeds go to the sanctuary that was that was taking care of Ricardo. Ricardo. So, Which I thought was pretty cool. So it's cool. It's just a little bull, and, but he's got his New Jersey Transit. Uh, hey, and it's their new mascot. So. Their new mascot. It was, it was a pretty funny story, but we had to. Yeah, I thought them. that was interesting. But they sold out quick, though. I got two of them the first day, and I went back to get a third one, and they were sold out, and that was the same day. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, so they're, they're cute. cute. Ricardo the bull, the New, new Jersey Transit bull. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Yeah, that was kind of funny. Yeah, so I got one for the shop. I got one for here. So go to YouTube, which you should already be there. Google or or uh, go to the search and just write New Jersey Transit Bull. Yeah, actually, I think they're back available again. That they, you can get them again. I uh, said last I saw about a half hour ago, it said sold out. Oh, so. did it? Um, okay. Anyway, what's well, what's new? What came in? Uh, a couple books. Well, this uh, one here is uh, Rail Places. Uh, famous coast to coast which I thought was neat was it shows different railroads and like where people would go to take pictures and rail stuff fanning. like that yeah rail fanning and it's neat because most of this stuff is from basically the mid 50s on up through the 70s for the pictures and that and then it explains the areas as well which I thought was really a neat book. I, I, I thought, was looking page into it, was when they talked about Northumberland. And there was a roundhouse up there, and back, I guess it was the 60s, and there were several refurbished steam engines, and a couple of them was like, hmm, I wonder where they went to. Yep, well, you know, but. Because I think it said like a bald, Baldwin uh, S, SA 6, 616 or 16. Uh, I think it was a couple steam engines, uh, 280, and I think a little 6B or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, it, it was pretty interesting. So what are you drinking tonight, Bill? <laughs> we <laughs> see you there pouring that thing with that shark on it. What is yeah, it? It's a fish. Fishtown iced tea. Fishtown. Yeah, Fishtown very... Brewery's doing pretty good. Yeah, yeah, they are. So this was a... Uh... They're in the... Uh, I believe it's the brewery off. They're having like a brew off between breweries. Uh, we have um, here in Lansdale we have a big uh, beer tasting festival, and I discovered this last year at our beer tasting festival. Yeah, one of the radio what was it MGK or somebody was. Yeah, doing? MGK's been doing their the beer. Uh, yeah, like a beer. It's, it's uh, yeah, micro brew breweries. It's micro breweries about. in the area. And they're having a battle of who has the best. And well, so far, they're in the top ten voted. Well, we have our um, our beer tasting festival June twenty second. So if you're in the Lansdale area, June twenty second, come come and. Uh, I won't be us. there. I will. I'll be here. I'm yeah, here. somebody has to make shot. <laughs> Actually, I'm co-chairman of, of of the beer tasting festival. Imagine so. that. <laughs> so guess what? I got to be there. Who drives you home? Or do you just? Roll home. You can just walk home, you know, or stumble uh, home. But it's right, ne right, right, right next to the Lansdowne train station. So if you come from out of the area, you could just take the train. You walk across the parking lot. You're there. Yep. So it's it's, it's a good time. 
June 22nd. So what's that one? This one's from Combat Book called Modeling the Oil Industry. It's basically about the, uh, you were looking at this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, right? the oil tankers. And there's like, like some of the ones like you think that were uh, fictitious. Where there's actually a couple in there. I'm like. Road names. It. Yeah, and it kind of talks talks a little bit how they went from the small tanker and it, as the oil tanker grew. The history, and the safety on the tankers. Yeah, how the, they put linings in them. And the, history of the, couplers. the history of the oil industry and its relationship with the railroads. But yeah, this is pretty, it's got, it's got pretty cool looking trucks too. Yeah, yeah, some of the cool old looking oil trucks. Yeah, the old tanker trucks, but. Yeah, who, 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 what, let me see for a minute. I forget what. Um, it's amazing the safety innovations that have gone into um, tank cars in the last years. Yeah, that's good too. <laughs> yeah, there's like the DuPont, the big golf tankers, um, the 33, 32 gallon ones that Atlas makes. Um, what, what, I see we got some more end gauge there today. Yeah. Where's um kind of cool like Quaker State with some um, Sunoco. Um, yeah. That's what it's like. Deep Crook. Um, what do you call dead these? Deep, uh, rock. Deep, Deep rock. rock. Yeah, RMT uh, did them. RMT did them. Uh, there was a couple other one. All right. Well, let's tide, hear tide about these water. new items here. Tide, tide water. So that was kind of <coughs> like the old golf line held it down. Mm -hmm. you know? Just kind of. They were done by Atherin and HO as well. Yeah, it was just it was just kind of neat, and it shows some of the just the ev evolution of it. It was kind of I thought it was a really good book, interesting book. It had some interesting things in there. Uh, last week you were you were, you were sharing the uh, Reading T1, so yeah. I see you got a couple more companions. Yes, the kind of somebody had asked because somebody thought I was you know against Engage. No, I'm not. I have Engage, and I. Do collect a little bit of it, but yeah, I mean we. Just a power note. Uh, they came out with uh, Reading and Northern, uh, the Norfolk Southern ones that they got um, F7s with their new uh, paint scheme. Paint scheme. Um, a an AB unit, the AB unit. Just like they had, they yeah. had there. Not as much detail as like the the O scale ones on, but the stacks and. The ones that they say are the Marlboro box. <laughs> well, That's what they called them. The Marlboro box. Black, white, and red. That doesn't have a smoke unit in it. No, but they're pretty sharp looking. And then they also, uh, Broadway Limit came out with a, uh, their Pacific, the 425, and if you ever go come here with the... Um, up in Jim Thorpe, they run this a lot. I think right now it's under um, inspection and stuff. There, it's off offline. Yeah, yeah. What do they yeah, call it's that? up the engine house. Fifteen year inspection, or I don't know what it is. Their boiler testing and so forth. Yeah. So there, you can, yeah, you can reenact Jim Thorpe. <laughs> it's got to get the passenger cars to go with it. Yeah. What's the station there and uh, up off of, when you go up? Tamaqua? Yeah, Tamaqua. Where they have the station and the uh, yeah, they engine them, house and that. Getting pretty pretty extensive. They're getting really active. they got a lot of stuff going on. So. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, they, they got, got a done. lot going on. they got a lot of different stations throughout the area. I mean, and you got one down in Reading. And they're starting to change. They're starting to come down from the north. Yep. We have going some different, expanding. Really, nice, nice really stuff. Neat. Nice stuff. Well, one of the other things um, that came in is for all you Penn Central people, Bowser has the Mal upper cars. Oh, they finally got here. No, actually, we've had these for a little while. Yeah, just, just really didn't talk about them. Yeah. Maintenance of way yellow. Maintenance of way yellow. Yep. They use for ballast. Use for ballast and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, ballast and a little of this, a little of that, scrap, whatever it need to be. What else you got there, Walt? We got the Atlas 
uh, northeastern style caboose celebrating 50 years of rail safety operation lifesaver. Ah, oh, that's cool. Yeah, they were like these like limited, limited special edition edition specials. Yeah. What are they, gold and uh, black? Yep. The gold and black, the HO, both an HO version and an O gauge version. It's really pretty cool. Yeah, they are sharp looking. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Got some weight to it. Yeah, these are not lighted. This one is. For one tier, you got a little dude in there. Yeah, look at him up there yeah, in the poop no, no, no dude, No dude in the HO. No dude in the HO. No dude in the HO, cool. no they light. Got huh? shades Wrong. on the side of the windows. Got no lights in there? No, I don't have sunshades. I just got sunshades. Wow. Oh. Oh. I roast him. My guy's roasting. Uh, your, yours is a four window, six or eight window. Yeah. This is a two window. Uh, one's a Reading and one's a uh, like a Lehigh Valley. Just this one just says cupola caboose. Cupola caboose. Cupola. Not the cupola. But they're sharp looking, you know. I like yeah. the black and gold. Yeah, they look nice. Fifty years of Operation Lifesaver. But that's something you can pretty much run. Pretty cool. Yeah, throw that behind any modern rail tr rail or train. Give you an excuse to put a caboose on the end of your freight train. Well, yeah. you know, like our rule we have up the house, you're running a freight train, you gotta have a caboose, or at least one of the cars with a flashing light on the back. And a device. And a device. Yep. Cool. Yeah, that's a good one. Um. Oh yeah, our new blue. Our collector color paint line. We just um, added another color. Added another color. A new color. Always that. We're always needing another color. How many color? Well, we have like 80 colors or something. Yeah, something. We like always that. need another color. We don't have. So this is actually the American Flyer Royal Blue. So if you're if you're restoring a uh, American Flyer Royal Blue steam engine. And this one a customer sent in because somebody pro professionally painted it for him. And it was wrong. They used Krylon. And this is, if you look at the Don't tube. Don't touch the lid. Oh, I didn't realize he had. Yeah, we just we just got these cans. Yeah, I know. I didn't the color, realize it The color is tacked. fresh off the mixing table. Fresh yeah. off the mixing just, table. Just can't but if you look that. at the two colors, there's a definite shade difference on them. Also, it doesn't have a very good shine. No, it doesn't have a shine on it or anything. It's almost it, like a semi-gloss or yeah. a... Uh, Satin. Satin, yeah. It's like a satin. It, it wasn't done right, so the customer sent it to us to have it done right. No way. It's like, I know you guys will do it the right way. Which which created another color. Yep. We Well, he, the gentleman sent a red one and a blue one. Well, we already had the red. We had the red, so I didn't have to have the red made, but we didn't have the right blue. Then we just finally got an original engine with the right blue that wasn't molested, we could Use then pull the chassis out and get the actual right color from inside the body to match it properly. It didn't yeah. have sun fade or anything like that. A new collector color color. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Talking about old things. Uh, uh, here we go. Hearts. Here we go. Well, we were we've been talking about NPC stuff in the last couple oh, of times. Yeah. Oh, oh. In uh, where did TV go? I TV's right there. This is one. I, I'm sure everybody remembers these things. These were kind of one of those things that was way before its time. It was the first uh, engines with the television in them. They actually had television commercials when they did these. Ah, it's right on me. It's got the little it's camera up front. Yeah, I borrowed the TV from Dad's because it's one of the few things Dad actually collected was the rail scope, and then I just bought this one off of Dad. You know, you talk about the rail scope, it's like finding that old for the HO when they had it in the. the well, they counter. had that in the Alco. They yes. had, had it in the F7 nose light. Yep, with the same TV. But. 
what was amazing is dad held on to this all this time. And I asked him, he says, well, that TV, that went on vacation with us when we were kids. <laughs> yeah, that was our, our TV. <laughs> I remember yeah. him watching him and Grandpa watching a baseball game. Baseball on it. game on it while we were out at Cass. <laughs> had, a, had a cigarette plug adapter. <laughs> Man, I bet you, bet you the Gilligan's Island, Island people who wish they had that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I just thought it was one of those things that, yeah, it was before its time. Let's pull it out and, you know. Talk about it. Yeah, I mean, and you think about it, it's like even like the HO back and you were funny, talking. Yeah, how much yeah, of a, yeah, you're. How much of a better picture I get off of this, you know? Um, yeah. yeah, it, it was very primitive. Pr and it was black and white. It yep. wasn't color. Now today they're they're wireless. It's color TV. HD. You get it on definition. your you get it on your telephone. You know. Oh yeah, and, but, and cameras now are like the size of a pinhead. This this went through track. And then hooked from the track to the TV, but the fact that you actually you would get a picture with some static in it, you know, depending on how clean the wheels were and your track was. But I thought it was a neat thing to to bring up. Yeah, it's definitely um, cameras definitely <laughs> come a long way. You know? Yeah, it's neat because it has they like, cut the hole in the Jeep for Remember, it. And, um, uh, Jay, a friend of ours. In his basement, he had uh, several cameras on his thing. Then on the one, he had a big flat screen with the four things on his basement wall. Like we do at the house. Up the house we have. Yeah, right. yeah he had cameras. He had one that had like, that siding above the bar. There was yep. a camera. Then he had the... Wheel. Yeah, when he had the... the... Uh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. But he had the no, flat screen above the one video game. But had the four, had the four pictures on the, on the, within the TV. Yeah. Yeah, like what we have at the house with my layout, we have four pictures yeah, that, that around was, the layout. That was probably one of the biggest pain in the ass layouts. Oh, uh, that was always a pain to work on. Because that, that was around the, uh, yeah, around yeah. the ceiling. And I tried to get him to make it a little bit lower, and he was like, Nope. You nope, know, he wanted, you know, he sat in his ways, and there was a couple things I tried. Why don't you make this side, like, you could. Out a few more inches. Nope. Put, yeah, make it a little wider, and you can you can park another train or, or be able to pass trains. But then then like I wish I had some pictures of that. Yeah, yeah, that was a neat layout. Because, because when you built, me and my late brother it was all solid goat. We built it around the room and made a siding area with a bar. And then I don't know, maybe a two months month later, he wanted to take it and turn it into. Two separate loops and make it cross over in the middle of the, in the middle of the room. And he was what he called. He owned a machine shop, so to him it was like, if you can't do it, I'll find somebody else to do it. You know. And then then later on, after my brother passed away, I had somebody else build a two track bump bump and go for him. Well, what else we got over there? I think Bill wanted to talk about the Gate Man. Yeah, I mean, through the years, we all know the. Uh, Good old gate man. Operating gate man has been been out for for Forever. the last century, and this basically is the latest version. But it's a Patriots salute gate man. You know, yeah, we're a little early for Memorial Day, but he's more standard gauge than he is. Yeah, gauge. yeah, <laughs> I mean, he always he always was. <laughs> yep. But yeah, you know, the, the classic, the classic building, the classic gate man. It's, you know, they, it's been done so many different ways through the years, different themes, cartoon characters. I guess you Santa, want some power? Santa Claus has come out of this thing. Yeah, we've seen Santa Claus, the Road Runner. <laughs> yeah, I, Actually, I, I, we got a Road, Road Runner, Runner, Runner on here. Yeah. God, here comes part that a couple neat things that come into the store. Yeah. Yeah. I've been debating on buying this one. Just because it's the road road. So I mean, they, the Gateman's been done in so many versions through the years. Different themes. Just road because ride. this is the Roadrunner and Coyote, I've been... Yeah, look at that. See? Anybody have any... Look at that one. 
Anybody Ain't have a favorite? Cool? Yeah. If anybody had a favorite gate man, let us know. Share. Yeah, if whatever one you have that you got that's your favorite, it's let on. us know. Power on there. It's got light. Just push, push down on the button. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, check that out. Very cool. Let's see, does this one work? Yeah, does your word runner work? Yeah, there's a wonder. Or the coyote comes out after him? Well, we got light. Try the other one. Yeah, hey, uh, coyote comes out. But listen to the sound difference too in the old style magnet. Yeah, mine doesn't make much noise. Yeah, this one. It makes all kinds of noise. But it's neat to see. It's funny, it still has all the holes from different. For all the different items that yeah. used to get mounted on it. Yeah, the, the cross truck. What, what, what is he dressed up as? Is he a Marine? Oh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, he's a Marine. Cool. Yeah, it definitely looks like a Marine. <laughs> yeah. It says U.S. military must have photo ID out to enter post. Cool. So that's for your military base for when you have the rocket launcher and everything else. Yeah. So I thought I, was, I thought it was just cool to share the latest version of the infamous game. Oh yeah, Walt had one other there. Yeah, here's from a, the past. Another one that. Another kinda, blast from the past. Kind of one of the neat things that come in. It is the Maiden Rescue. So. That one was always neat. I, you know what? It reminded me of the cartoon. Yeah. What the heck was it? Um, I can't remember the cartoon with the... Uh, Dudley Do-Right. Dudley Do-Right, yes. Where he ties the girl down to the track. Yeah, yeah. And Smiley Whiplash or something was his name. Smiley Whiplash and then Dudley Do-Right comes yeah, so and the saves her. So the girl's across the railroad tracks? Yeah. yeah. She drops down and they, when the train comes and quick back up on the platform. Oh, really? Yeah. I, don't think I think I, I have one of them at home somewhere. I don't know if I ever saw one of these. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's why I was like... Well, that one and then uh, the porterhouse. That was another one that's an oddball. Yeah, this looks like this was never even used. Probably wasn't. I think it's like comes with two of them. Two women. Oh, well, you could kill one, you got another. <laughs> this is set up for the older. Yeah, it does look like Dudley kind of Dudley do right. Yeah. It's like, it's like spring loader. Right? Yeah, it is. So when your train's coming across, she's laying out there on the rail. Well, uh, there's got to be got to be a piece missing. Let me look at the instructions. No, nah, she gets put down on the thing. But there's no holes in her. In her yes, foot. there is in her foot. Yeah, there's in her foot. Like he goes there. Yeah, they just drop down in there. Now pull him back. Now, when the train comes, it activates the, uh, what do you call the third rail, because you use an isolated rail, mm -hmm. and that's what makes it go up. So, a piece insulated rail section is what makes it work. And she's up, and pretty neat. Oh, looks like they almost kiss. <laughs> they probably do as hard as they hit. Oh, you're my hero, Walter. <laughs> Thank you for saving me. Uh, hey, you, you could get it and show it to your ex-wife. I got it just for you. Then I'd be like, you're going back. <laughs> <laughs> As it is the Royal Mounted Police, so it is, I guess, 
I'd have to Dudley say Dudley Do Right. Yeah, I'd have to say it comes off a of Dudley Do Right. Yep. I always thought it was one of those neat little things. That's cool. I never saw that. <laughs> you never saw that. Nah, oh, so this, nah. this came out in 2000, 2002, 2003. Yeah, they had a bunch of different ones, like uh, the, uh, what's it, Harry Blowfish or something, where she's sitting on a rocker with the shotgun, rocking on the Is this chair. just for, I mean? Yeah, they're the lugs for... For, well, for, I guess one for a, light, one for yeah, just your, like the gate men. Just like a gate man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then when it hits, that, yeah, that hits your insulated rail, that's yeah, when it no, fires it's, him off. This has the pressure rate, pressure, pressure, pressure. Yeah, you pressure plate or the insulated rail. <coughs> that's pretty fun. That is kind of cool. <laughs> Alright. What else you got? Parts? Yeah, I got parts. I know the old man wanted to show want us to got show. Got a some lot parts. of parts that we were limited supply. I'm losing them. They're coming out. Pre-war parts? Pre-war parts. These are the metal gears for the O gauge crane. Bag. One. That's for the 810 crane. Normally they used to be plastic. We have a bunch of them done in metal. And uh, like I said, this is a limited run. So what we got is, that's it. Once we got out of these, no more. If we sell them quick, maybe we'll look into doing more of them. But that's one item. The next item is for the Remember right? Yeah, this is for the 10 series uh, freight cars. It's the brake wheels, and uh, they're a dollar fifty each for the die cast I'd wheels. I'd, I'd say leave that out. Uh, there's the die cast wheels. Then something we've been making for quite a while now is for the standard gauge engines for the build a locomotive and the super uh, motor is the bushings and the axles brand new so we have those in stock and then another limited item which is another piece that's usually hard to find you get those signals it's not a switch cover it's actually the signal cover with a single hole in it and uh, that's part number 80-82 they're 350 a uh, cover for the sig for the signal light cover and they're ones that you usually every time you get a signals they got a switch cover on them because the switch cover has all the holes lit Is that standard gauge standard gauge yeah it uh, normally uh, that's one of those hard to find parts so we got a bunch of those that are done and then the number 35, the lamp posts, the die cast tops that go on them. Mm -hmm. We have a bunch of those that are made as well. And there's a limited run on that. Those are $1.50 each. And O gauge uh, bearings for all the O gauge locos, whether you got the humpback or the square motor we got the bushings and axles for those and then now for the o gauge passenger cars the cp7s they're 750 a coupler and yes they are spring loaded and uh we have a limited run on them as well right now oh, these are the twist style ones right they call it a twist style because yep it's a twist it goes up inside the car, car and give it a twist and, and then you give it a twist and it locks in place usually the guys wind up twisting the tab off and then they're they're kind of screwed Not the, the, problem, I'm the other thing we have is the number 33 we only have plane wheels we do not have geared we had guys asking for wheels these can be machined down to fit a gear, but we're not going to do it. If you want to do that, that's on you. But we do have uh, 33 wheels. We've got a 
limited supply of them, but we had a lot of people asking for the 33 wheels. There you go, guys. An impossible thing to find. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, what do you got, Bill? Forgot about this. You forgot? You forgot? Well, um, too busy talking about other things. I almost forgot. The uh, Amtrak, the... Uh, Something for yourself. The uh, station, the new station sounds dome car. Amtrak. Oh, yeah. Not Amtrak. Yeah, Amtrak. Is that the full length one for your collection? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I know you've been waiting on this one for a while. <clears throat> now it won't come out, right? Well packaged. Woo! Curious to see what it's see what it sounds like. See what it looks like. No. I wanna hear it. I wanna know what kind of noise it makes. Yeah. Uh dinner time. It's dinner time. Get the hell on the train. I wanna know if it has a little kid in it. Mommy! Uh that little annoying one? Yeah, I have that in my uh in my uh Pensy set. The little kid. looking already. Did you get a long one in your uh, other set for the uh, what? Uh, I'm thinking um, la, 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 la. the writing in Northern. Yeah, I got that. Did you get one for yourself? Because I know that was the car you rode in, wasn't it? Yeah, I got that. Gee, look at that. Wait. Oh, that's a pretty thing. That is one heck of a car. It's got tinted windows. Got people on it? No. Can't tell. <laughs> They're All that money, you got no people. Got no people. No people. Well, because then it would cost even more. That's got some weight to it. Huh? I want to see what it looks like when it lights up with the tinted windows yeah. in it. Gonna pop that baby apart and load it up with some people, huh? That's pretty nice. Yeah, look at that. Nice and you know it's it's nice how they have these couplers on here, and it pulls them in tight Good. because it when you have these couplers on, it's neat to see how the diaphragms actually hit each other and work like they should. Let's see what it sounds like. Let's go play with the sounds. I have to bring it over. All aboard the Down Easter. Uh, please set your luggage over there. Time to board the Down Easter. All aboard. All aboard. The Down Easter is now departing. Next stop, folks. We are just about there, folks. Please gather your things. Oh, here, let me help. Next stop, coming up. Approaching the station. Next stop, folks. This is your station. Please move towards the door. Next stop, folks. Next stop, coming up. Your attention, please. The Down Easter is now boarding. All aboard the Down Easter.
just about there, folks. Please gather your things. Oh, here, let me help. Always like them sound cars. It's got a lot sound of sound cars are fun. It's got a lot of sound. It takes a while. Can't have that long. annoying little kid in there. No, nah, we couldn't find the annoying kid. But that's all right. Nice looking car. I don't need the annoying kid. It is a nice. Check the lights though. See what's flickering in them. Yeah, the one. Yeah, for a little bit when everything was running, it seemed to flicker. I don't know if it's a capacitor or what. So check it out. And then I think it'll be a nice addition to the uh, Amtrak set. Amtrak set. So what are you up to? 17, 18 cars now? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It's a, oh. a nice concept. We, um, I would like to get, they uh, just came in the uh, American Orient Express set. There's like eight cars to it. You know, yeah. I, I would love to have that set because you, know, you, you were pointing out to me and I, after looking at it, yeah. They, and, yeah, it, they it went, went through over, Philly. <laughs> went to Philly. Yeah, I found pictures of it in Philadelphia. You know, so yeah. I was like, oh, I'd love to have that set, but it just... I remember that set and that train, you know, when... Yeah, it was between the 1990s and the 2000s, yep, basically. exactly. Early 2000s. And you should have seen it when you were in Philly. You yeah. worked down there that time of year. Yeah. In those years. Yeah, I never saw it. never really knew about I happened it. to be... I was in Philly all the time because of work. I mean, I know Bill worked down in the center city, too. But uh, you never know. Yeah, that would be a neat set. It is it, it, sharp looking, you know, uh, but I just I think it's out of my budget for this year. Other than that, anything else we're missing? Any other thoughts? Mm. No, no. We got, so we got the two two shows in within a week of each other. Yeah, it was a week and a week. Maybe we can take it three. Um, we maybe next week we might be visiting a layout. Uh, we we're gonna try. One of our customers, you know, he said, "Hey, come over." He was anxious to come over and play. Come over and play, so maybe we'll see if we can make that happen. So, if not, uh, get some equipment together and uh, go run some trains. So it's glad to be back two, uh, two week, two weeks in a row. So we'll we'll try for three. So once again, thanks for joining us, and we'll have a good weekend or a good week. Thank you. See you guys. Good yank. Don't break. <laughs> Ripping it off the ceiling.